Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to North Country Off Grid. It's early in the morning. We got up early today to work on some fencing before it got too hot. We're supposed to have some 70s and 80s all week. So, figured we'd beat the heat. We are out here early picking up, or putting up, pig fence. We're putting up the pig fence, the side where we're going to put um, the boars into, along with Ruby, to separate Ruby while Merlot has her piglets. And then we're going to move all the piglets in to um, where you've seen Ruby and Merlot hanging out. Ruby's kind of a grump, so we don't want her around any of the piglets. Uh, we don't want her around Merlot's piglets when they're, um, when they're just little guys. So I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. If you've watched um, some really early episodes, you guys know that I dislike field fencing. I was hoping to use hog panels in here. But the problem is this. OP is in his pen across the way and he's got hog panel around his entire pen and i need to use those hog panels but i need to get something over here to put op in before i can use those hog panels so instead of going and buying a bunch more hog panels what i've done was use the field fencing that i have on hand and i'm stretching it now the reason i dislike field fencing is because it is a bugger to stretch and I think it looks like crap. If you don't do it right, it looks like crap. I've seen guys do it before with an implement on the back side of their tractor and it stretches it beautifully, but I don't use enough field fencing to justify buying that implement for the back of the tractor and I don't want to because I don't like field fencing. But I came up with something today um, because I don't want it to look like crap. I want to stretch it the best I can. And I'm going to show you guys what I came up with. But what I want to know from you guys is what you guys use uh, to stretch field fencing. And I probably should have asked you before I started doing this. But this is working out pretty good. So if you guys are looking for a very cheap, very white, trashy way to stretch your field fencing, I've got it for you. All right, guys, so here's what we've got. You can see that the back of this fence is all pulled nice and tight, and it looks okay. It's not great, but it looks okay. And I'm just pulling it across the back of these trees. Um, this is the back side of the pig pen. Now, what I've got are tie straps. I got tie downs, and I put one down to the bottom, one semi middle, or a couple semi middle, and then one um, right there at the top. And I've just got them hooked to this little to this little S hook here. I didn't have any extra rope, so we're using a lasso. Going to the pulley, going to the four-wheeler. So what I did was is I just kept going on the four-wheeler until it pulled tight. And right now it's pulled pretty darn tight. So I like it. Um, it's going to be the tightest field fencing I've ever put up. So I guess I can't complain about it. And you can see basically we're on the back side of the pen. I've been cementing um, posts in the last couple of days. I've had a couple of days of rain as well. But I've been putting stuff in. I've been putting in fence. And I'll kind of give you guys a little rundown of uh, what the end product is supposed to look like. It's starting to get there. It's coming together. As you guys have seen, the piglets are growing so much. They're outgrowing their little area. And so it's gonna be time for them to move here pretty soon. And I'm hoping to get this done in the next day or two. So I'll switch around here and I'll show you guys what we got going on. So the way this one's gonna be set up is basically the same as this one. This one's divided into two sections, section here where big old Ruby's laying, and then that section over on that side. This one's gonna have a section here, section there. And then this little run right here is gonna run them out to there. And out there, I've got a little project going. You guys can kind of see it right there, a little teaser. But I'm gonna show you guys later. It's not quite done either. But basically this area out here is gonna be where they're gonna go out and be able to free forage, get roots, get greens, get bark, get all the good stuff that makes them taste great. Okay, so here's where we're at. Shut up, rooster. Here's where we're at. So I've got some sections done with hog paneling. This stuff I had extra, or cattle panel. This stuff I had extra uh, laying around, so I was able to use it. And then I'll be using um, the rest of OP stuff somewhere else once we get it in. 
it's going to be ridiculous. I think OP is going to run around wild for a little bit while I nail up the rest of the, the panels that are over, that are his pen currently. So right here I've got a space for two gates. Gate one, gate two is going to go here. This gate is what is um, OP's gate right now. So I need to let him out, steal his gate and put it here and that'll seal this up. All right guys, so it's actually a couple days later from the last time I showed you the other part of this video. I was gonna give you guys an update on what we did at the end of the day, uh, but it started uh, thunderstorming, raining, so we grabbed all the tools, we packed up, and it's rained a couple days since, but we've been out getting it done, so I'm gonna show you guys now um, what we wound up getting done and then how much more we got to do. And basically all we have to do is I gotta run around all my T-posts and use wire to tie up the fence, tie it all together and then install one more gate, and then we're gonna start moving pigs over here. So uh, we'll get my big boar over here, um, and then we'll put the baby boar, um, the one you guys need a name still, we will put the baby boar back over into here with him, um, and we'll put, uh, I think we'll put Ruby in here as well, um, get Merlot by herself, and then get the other piglets into the other half. All right guys, so here we are. We've got fence all the way around this thing. It's a good sized pen. It actually goes all the way back behind that big uh, dirt mound that you can see there. <clears throat> but we're missing this. We're miss missing this gate here. And these guys are going to get separated. You know, it's going to get separated into two. But that's what we're missing. So I got to go put that other gate on. We did get OP into another corral. Um, so I was able to take down the rest of the panels. So we've got panel up everywhere. And I'm just going to go through and use um, wire, just like these ones right here just using wire all right guys that's the progress that's the progress on the big pen the next time you guys see these big pens we will be sticking piglets in them we will be moving big pigs around and hopefully this one will be having some babies we'll see and then on the next video when we're doing that as well we will uh we will go ahead and start the contest for naming our boar Hey, Shelves. She smiled. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to finish getting this thing completely done, get these piglets a new home. They're starting to get crowded in there. It's, it's, uh, it's time for them to get a bigger pen. We'll catch you on the next one.